Hi, this is just a walkthrough of the On Safari album of which the PDF will be available if you contact us coolcatscraft at gmail.com and this is the front cover, a bit of fussy cutting, building up your pages, your spine there and then your back there. So we're going into the album, the cover is 9 by 8.5 across. We've got two pockets here and as you can see we've mirrored the pockets on this side. All these little bits are embellishments that I've found and gone through after I've decorated the pages. So page one is here, that's a cutout from one of the tab pages, that's a little pocket and that pulls down and then you've got extra pockets here and they're not belly bands this time, these are decorative strips but they're using our walrus whiskers belly bands. So that's a pocket there and a pocket there. And if you don't have the belly band dies, you can just cut straight pieces of card across and decorative paper. So on here, we've got more pockets and these are called vertical pockets. And this particular two pages, they're actually mirroring each other with the patterns. And this is a paper match, so the paper pattern has continued through. And that's just two little tags stuck there. There are actually underneath hidden photo slot dies here. Um, they're from our new collection that we're just waiting to arrive. Okay, and then in each page you have tabs like that. So this page is a direct cut-ins with our with pierced curve photo slots. So they just slot in there and there like that. This page you may have seen me demo on Hochanda. It's like a double page. These are little short pockets here. And then that's a flip flap that opens up there. This page you have your horizontal pockets and you're just using two different patterns but they're all blending together. And again those are pockets there, 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 there and there. Another pull out tab. Next one here, this is um, directly cut into the pattern so when you take the tabs out it looks as though there's nothing cut in there and they're actually using our walrus whisker dies. You can use any whisker dies or you can just, do, if you don't have the edge of dies, you can use um, just a straight ruler if you want. So that's going there and we've actually got three different pockets there. This one here, that's uh, one of our original photo slot dies that takes a 6x4 ephemera cards and then we've got two flip flaps here and these little decorative bits here are actually mounted on Magapop dies. Can you see those okay? Yeah, we can see those. Yeah. I love these papers, you could do so much with them. Yeah, this one, really nice. I love this. The zebras, the zebras are, are lovely, aren't they? This one's a flip flap and a flip flap's when the um, fold of the flap is actually centrally on, or on the page somewhere, not centrally, but not on an edge. So we've got little straight stitch slots here. And again, if you haven't got this die, you can do it with a ruler and a cropper dial. And then we've got the same inside here. And this here is a pocket. And then you've got your back cover. So you've got more pockets here and here. Now I had loads of bits and pieces left over, so you can go through, decorate it, how you want to, add the finishing touches. It's all about personalising it and making it your own. Thank you.